We're in a time where you can buy any toy you want online at Amazon. But what gets someone to spend time in a store? How about a vending machine that spits out toys and is interactive with a big old screen right in the middle of the toy aisle? We're at the Funko booth at New York Toy Fair and everything is still under construction. Toy Fair hasn't officially launched yet. There are people putting things together and drills going off, but we're here early to give you a sneak peek at a new vending machine that's coming to retail stores this year. This is Snapsies, and the idea is that this is gonna sit right in the middle of the Barbies and the Hot Wheels so kids can see this animation and go, oh, mommy, I wanna see what this is, I want one. And they'll interact with it right in the middle of the store. Here's how it'll work, uh, you'll hit start, You'll pick your character. These are original characters they made up, little unicorns, dragons. You pick your cute little thing, get it, and then you want to pay. So you can pay at the cashier, get a token, or use a quarter. It depends on how the store wants to launch it. But once you pay, you'll then turn the dial, and there'll be this really cute interactive animation that comes up. Uh, I'm gonna skip this now, because it's gonna change anyways later. But the idea is that it's all the fun stuff about your character that you might be getting. It's a little bit of a mystery of what exactly you're getting. The ball pops out and smooth, I know. And you'll be able to unwrap it and see, all right, what did I get? What did I get here? Now, the idea is that you want to get more than one because it will be something where you can mix and match the pieces to other characters. Wow. Oh. That's a little rock star llama. There's a body here and a head. And if I got more than one, I could snap the head onto a different body and create my own little creature. It's a Snapsies, hence the snapping of many different parts together. So this is a new thing for Funko. You may know about Funko from their line of pop collectibles that are all the pop culture fun things, whether it's a Marvel thing or a Disney thing. And that's more for an older audience, not really in the kitty kitty side of the toy aisle. But now that that audience that buys Funko is growing up, they want something for their kids, they're gonna look at this and go, oh, maybe this is something that is an experience in the store. You know, there's not a lot of reason to dwell in a store when you can buy things online. So they're looking at this as something that can go right in the middle of a toy aisle. They already are working with Target as having this be in Target stores later in the year. And they're working with other retailers too, but maybe it's not just in the retail store. Maybe it's gonna be at the airport or at your pizza parlor. So it's a new type of way to get kids hooked and saying, hey, I wanna go check this out. And there's gonna be all these music videos playing to definitely get them wanting to see what it's all about. Let's look at some Bye. different animations. They're still working out what animations are gonna be playing. But lots of things to get kids' attention. All right. Now they're gonna cost about $10 for each item. And you may have seen the concept before at a Think Geek store. They had this machine called the Paka Paka. It wasn't a collectible Snapsy thing, it was just something that was little cute mini figures that you would collect on your desk. But that's where they launched the idea late last year. Now, expect to see more of it. Let me snap it together. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think of this concept. It's interesting, we're in a world without Toys R Us, so this is pretty innovative. But is it gonna be a little crazy to have all of this in stores all the time? We'll see.